In this video, we'll walk you through the most important features introduced in Overflow 2.0, focusing on the newly introduced cloud saving functionality. Upon entering this new version of Overflow, you'll notice a significant change straight away. You now have access to your whole list of folders, as well as all the documents which you have published up to this point. You can edit any of them by double clicking. Let's create a new blank document to explore the tool's new capabilities a little deeper. We'll create a simple flow just for demonstration purposes. The first time you try to save your document, you will be prompted to save it on the Overflow Cloud. You can choose the destination folder from the Folders panel on the left and give your document a name. You still have the option to save it on your computer as a local document. However, for the purposes of this tutorial, we'll save our document on the Overflow Cloud. You'll know your document was successfully saved on the cloud from the cloud icon indication at the very top. As you continue working on your document, Notice how the title bar indicates the existence of unsaved changes. More importantly, you'll notice that Overflow will automatically save your progress, so you won't have to worry about losing any of your work. You still have the option to save manually with the keyboard shortcut Command plus S whenever you want. In case you momentarily lose your internet connection while working on a cloud document, there's no need to worry. Overflow will keep saving your work until you get back online and can save on the cloud once again. That is particularly helpful if you plan to work offline, for instance, while traveling. You can open your cloud document beforehand, and you can keep working on it without internet connection. Another way to prepare for offline work is to save your document on your computer in advance. Work on it while offline. And save it over the original cloud document when you get back online. A history of all your saves is available under your document title grouped by date. You can expand each date's contents to reveal individual versions. From there, you can open any of the versions in a new window. The system keeps older versions only for a certain time period, so if you want to keep a certain version forever, you can bookmark it and optionally give it a friendly name. Another new feature introduced in Overflow 2.0 is the option to invite teammates to your cloud document. Notice that everyone with prior access to the folder where your cloud document is saved automatically has editor rights. You have the option to invite additional individuals or groups. This feature allows additional editors to pick up work on the document from where the last editor left off without worrying about which is the latest document version. Your Overflow dashboard remains the hub to manage multiple aspects of your organization and team structure, such as users, folders, documents, access rights, and more. At first glance, your workflow might seem unchanged in Overflow 2.0. There is, however, a small change when publishing documents. You can only create publications for documents saved on the Overflow cloud. This comes with a great benefit. Creating and updating publications is now lightning fast. With that in mind, there are some considerations regarding local documents you had previously published. The latest published version of each of those documents is readily available to access and edit as soon as you open the Overflow app. We recommend opening the cloud document to continue working in Overflow 2.0. If, instead of opening the cloud document, you start your workflow by opening a local document, the Overflow app will detect the corresponding cloud document and compare the two. Here are two possibilities. If the two documents are identical, the app will prompt you to switch to the cloud document to continue working from where you left off. In the case where the two documents are not identical, Overflow will prompt you to either open the corresponding cloud document in a new window or to update the cloud document with your local version and continue working on the updated cloud document. The choice depends on if your local document has more recent changes than the cloud document or not. Lastly, in the case of local documents with multiple publications, each of these publications is available for you to open and edit as a cloud document. Still, if you decide to start from your local document, when you try to publish, the app will prompt you to choose which of the existing publications you'd like to update. Once you make your pick, Overflow will compare that version with the local version and prompt you to continue accordingly. We hope you enjoy using this latest version of Overflow, paving the path for more efficient team collaboration.